Megan, we're here at the home of Chris and Ann York, and you know, they weren't looking for a new home. Right, that's right, but they just absolutely fell in love with this home when they saw it. And it wasn't just the layout and the finish of the home that sold them. Nope, energy efficiency. Thanks, Chris Ann, for having us here today. Um, tell us about what sold you on this house when you walked in. Well, when I first walked in, it just felt like home. It was a nice open floor plan, hardwood floors, granite countertops. And even though it's big and open, it still didn't feel drafty and cold. It was very comfortable. Chris, how important was energy efficiency in terms of buying this home? It was extremely important. Our previous home wasn't that energy efficient. You could definitely tell the drafts in the wintertime, anytime it got windy. So uh, it was one of the top things we were looking at. And Chris, you had mentioned that your old home, you mentioned the drafts. You'd even put up the, the plastic wrap around the windows. Exactly. Uh, got got on the ladder and got out the uh, hair dryers to put up the film. So. Well, there's no plastic wrap here. No, no. Was it an older house that you lived in? It was newly, newly built, but it's, it was about 10 years old when we moved out. Okay. Well, this one, like we said before, this is new construction. Were there some elements that were built in regarding energy efficiency that you guys were not anticipating? The one we most appreciated is the fully insulated garage. We haven't had the ice and snow on our car. It always melts off. and Really nice since it also shares a wall with the laundry room and the master closet. Um, I think our viewers want to hear about savings, so let's talk about that. Sure. Well, like I said, we doubled the size of our house. We really didn't know what to expect. So going from, from a smaller home to a larger home didn't really have a, a, a base. So we, we figured, we planned for, for double the cost. Uh, and very surprised to see that we really didn't see any impact to our bills. Well, that's great. So you've had some maybe some savings or not as much expense as you thought, and you could put those dollars to something else. Correct. We've actually been able to furnish our house a little bit earlier than we thought we would, and later this spring we'll be able to do some landscaping. Energy efficient landscaping, right? Of course. Of course. <laughs> well, depend someone's going to exert some oh. energy. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that something that our viewers should take away from this, the most important thing, is that you can increase your square footage but it doesn't mean you have to decrease the contents of your pocketbook. Right. You guys, it's very comfortable. We, I mean, sitting in here, and again, thank you for allowing us and Powerhouse to come in today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was quite a story. Oh, really was, Megan. And we should point out the builder here highlighted several parts of the home as energy efficient. The five-star energy label, a high-efficient furnace and air conditioner, an efficient water heater, and windows. Anne and Chris love their new home. I do, too. I do, too. <laughs> You know, but it's not just about buying an energy efficient home. You still have to use smart, energy saving behaviors while you're living in your house. Like programming the thermostat when you're away from home. And buying Energy Star rated appliances when it's time to add new ones to your home. It all comes together to save you money and energy. And to make your house a powerhouse. Megan's wardrobe provided by Dress Card.